You've seen Joaquin Phoenix in Napoleon, but did you know you can visit Napoleon's hometown? I will show you why Ajaccio in Corsica is a must if you want to know more about Napoleon. We'll go to the house where he was born and the cathedral where he was christened, and then find out how a German toy, believe it or not, is being used to help recreate his life. Not a bad view to wake up to. I arrived in Corsica aboard the P&O Azura. The historic centre of Azaxio is tiny and looks a picture in the early morning sunshine. It doesn't take that long until you see your first sign of Napoleon. After no more than five minutes walk from the cruise ship, I found myself in the centre of the historic town. Well, here it is, your first Napoleon statue, created from white marble in the 1800s and flanked by four lions carved in granite. Close to the statue, a first bar taking its name from Napoleon's life, this time his early days. The historic town is small but utterly charming. What's that? Two references to Napoleon and his life on one street corner? Consecrated in 1593, the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption was where Napoleon was baptised in 1771. For my visit, having a look inside the cathedral was as easy as this looks. On his deathbed on St Helena, Napoleon was reported to have said, I wish to be buried in Ajaccio Cathedral with my ancestors. As ever, in the old town, the Mediterranean is not that far away. I think we've gone long enough without a Napoleon statue. This one on Place de Gaulle has Napoleon on horseback flanked by his brothers. If you have any Napoleon themed places you think I should visit for this channel, let me know in the comments section below. Once again, the Mediterranean was beckoning. Now though, I was hoping to see one of the town's more unusual Napoleon attractions, but it was closed. I hoped by coming back a bit later, I might get a chance to take a look inside. Instead, it was off to a queue outside the house where the emperor was born and raised. On the way in, you have to surrender food and drink, but you will get it back at the end of your visit. Up the stairs were the main rooms on show. Now you may think me a little unfair, but I felt more could have been done to bring the space alive. There is though an audio tour to listen to. I know, I looked like I was taking a call from a number I didn't recognise.
You may also notice, to avoid knocking the walls and furniture, I've been asked to wear my rucksack on my front and not my back. Downstairs, there's more of a series of displays, including, of course, a painting of the most famous Corsican ever. Is the house worth a visit? Well, yes it is. But as I said a little earlier on, I do feel more could be done to bring the space alive. I think we've gone long enough without a couple of places referencing Bonaparte. As we head back to the port, it'd be real helpful if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel to help me grow it. What this shot doesn't show is how big the Azura is and how it looms over the town. Hoping Naparama would reopen a little later, I thought I'd kill time with a bus ride through the town and along the coast. This still looks great, but I think my decision to come earlier in the morning was a better one. A different view of Place de Gaulle. By the way, I put the location of all the places I visited in the description. Anyone up for another Napoleon statue? Well, for this one, you'll have to look through the trees. It wasn't too long before we returned to the coast for some stunning views. We were now approaching the end of the bus route from where you can get off and have a look around. A beautiful view, isn't it? I liked it so much that at the day of uploading this video, it makes up part of the banner for this channel. This was all well and good, but what I really needed to do one more time was see if Naparama was open. As I neared, my mood rose. The door was open, the sign was out. Could I be lucky? It is not the biggest of rooms, but the detail on display is fantastic. Can you work out which scenes of Napoleon's life are being displayed? Let me know in the comments section. I'm not sure the makers of Playmobil ever had this in mind. Yes, Ridley Scott's coronation scene looks great, but what about this? I had a great time in Napoleon's hometown. Thoroughly enjoyed it. There is plenty for the history buff to take in. By the way, if you'd like to see more videos from my time aboard the Azura, there's a link to a playlist on the screen now.